I'm sure you guys are very, very well aware of by now. I've been working on this city for quite some time and there are a lot of different things that I do wish that I had done differently. Um, some things that I do regret doing in certain ways. And the reason why I do have these regrets is because since I started this city so long ago, um, when I started it, we had different mods and different mod capacities and different assets and things like that. Whereas now we have so much more than what we had when I first started this city. And um, also just my, my ideas and views, everything about building this type of style city has kind of changed as well. So in this video, I'm going to go through maybe like 10 or so different things that I regret or would like to change. Not that I'm going to change them, but let's just go through. And um, you, yeah, some of you guys probably know what they are already, but let's go have a look. All right, so first of all, it is this double airport up here. So this originally had the passenger airport on the other side where all of the industrial space is now. Um, and a lot of you did say to me, Sam, it looks like your airport's not working. And deep down, I actually knew it wasn't working, but I, knew, I just never wanted to admit it because um, I didn't want to seem like I didn't know what I was doing. But I think what was happening was the mountain ranges were kind of getting in the way of the planes being able to land. And um, the cargo one works, which is the one on the left there, which it's really going good. But for so long, I just left the passenger train, train, passenger plane there for so long. And I wish I had changed it sooner because it kind of halted the whole city. It halted different expansions, expansions that we did. And um, I just wish that I had done that sooner. And I wish that I never actually put the passenger plane up here in the first place. Uh, I wish I had just put it in the other area and just, you know, had it going and just just had it going running because it now has a lot of tourists coming in at the other airport. And I'm pretty sure after I actually put in the new passenger airport at the other side of the city, I'm pretty sure that we had a, a, a good sized increase in overall city profits as well. Uh, and it, it just made the city run a lot better. And um, I actually really like this airport over here. It, I think I did it really well. So I do regret not um, taking all of your advice in the comments and saying that it wasn't working because I knew it wasn't working. I just didn't want to admit it. But um, yeah, it, I guess it led to something even better. So it's kind of a regret that I just didn't do it sooner. Okay, so another huge regret that I've had, I've had the whole entire time is the actual, um, the terrain that I'm using. So the colors of it, um, the, basically the theme. So this theme comes from the Aurora Borealis map, which was actually my first city, which was Sam Petersburg. And so I've basically been using the same theme for the whole time. But unfortunately, what I don't like about it is the mountain colors. So if you look up the back behind this little town here, you can see the mountains where it goes into a bit of a cliff and the ground becomes a bit grayish, a bit brownish, a bit rocky. And if I actually zoom in on it, you can see that it's kind of a very, very low definition. It's definitely not like HD. Um, it's a little bit blurry and I've had people commenting about that the whole time. The reason why I never got to change it is because every time that I tried to either update the theme myself using the theme manager, um, the game would completely crash. Or if I tried to change the actual theme of this whole map, the whole city would crash and break. So I kind of just had to stick with it. Um, it's not a huge deal, but I wish I had chose one that's a little bit more detailed, a little bit more in depth. And I think that would have really changed the whole uh, perception of the city. And, you know, it would have made you guys be a little bit more quiet about it. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's the reason why I never got to uh, changing the terrain and the theme. Okay, so next I want to look at it from this perspective and the thing that has bothered me the whole time is the fact that the 
the rivers going through the, this whole city make it kind of look like the city is quite disconnected. So it kind of makes it look like there's different little towns and they all kind of just mush together, which isn't really what I wanted. So I wanted it all to look like it's one big city that's connected. So I don't know if, uh, I, I, so I don't know if I would have actually done this, but what I, what I would have liked to have done is made the rivers actually a bit smaller, a bit closer together, um, which will then reduce the the image of it being disconnected. So if I just use the mouse here and show you guys, like we have this part here, uh, and then compared to over here, there's this big disconnect, and it kind of looks like two different towns to me. Like we have a town center here, then a town center here, you know what I mean? So I wish there was more of a connection throughout the whole area. Um, then again, I don't really like to change the terrain too much because I feel like I just like to work with what we have when we start the game. Um, but I mean, I did do some modifications to this whole map before I started building, which I didn't really tell you guys about. So I would have liked to either remove some of the rivers or make the rivers um, a lot smaller. Another regret, and while we are on the topic of the water, I actually completely messed up the, the water levels in the city. So what happened was, if I show you guys, the water level, it's down, it's quite low when you look at it from this perspective. So originally the water level would have been about here, if we look over there. Um, so it's gone down quite a huge amount. And as a result, we have these huge big um, sea walls, which I think is quite ugly. And um, it, it just, yeah, it just does not look good at all because I don't like to have a huge big cliff and then the water is all the way down there. And you're probably saying, well, Sam, why didn't you just, um, you know, put the water level back up? And that's because I started building in other areas at a new sea level. So I started building them at this level down here. And um, as a result, I can't actually move this water level back up because then we will completely flood the new areas. So if we have a look over here, you can see the water levels are actually very, very close to um, the shoreline. And I, I, would, I did that on purpose, but the thing is, if I increase the water levels by the tiniest amount, this whole area floods. So unfortunately, I just had to leave everything how it is. Um, and we just kind of have to live with having those huge big ugly rock walls um huge big random terrain areas yeah we just have to deal with it but it is a huge regret that i've had i wish i had checked the whole city first before building these new areas because now it just seems a little bit just a little bit off it just doesn't seem right so but that's all right no problem Okay, so another regret is kind of these larger buildings in the downtown area. So I do feel like I went a little bit overboard, but if I just try to explain to you guys what I was going for, um, obviously the city, it's a very Russian style city. Um, and a lot of those buildings, they are kind of, you know, like 10 levels or something like that. And they look a little bit older. So what I wanted to do was completely make a new, really, really fancy, high-tech downtown area, luxurious areas and things like that. And the buildings that I chose were a little bit too big, um, definitely for the size of the city. So if the city was maybe three times as big with a lot of urban sprawl, I think these buildings would have definitely fitted in very, very well with the overall image because there's a lot of build up, a lot of suburban sprawl that builds up towards these huge buildings. But since the city just isn't that big, we are constrained by a lot of the mountain areas as well. So we couldn't really do a lot of urban sprawl. So if we look at this area here, for example, so this has a very, very 
Russian-y theme, a Russian vibe going on. So I wish I had made the downtown a little bit more like this. So we have a lot of the Russian style larger apartment buildings. They're kind of on a bigger you know, like a big planning scheme where they mass reduce all of those apartment buildings. I wish I had done a lot more of those and didn't really go beyond those building heights. So I wish I kind of stopped at these ones here and only did like maybe one, two or three different buildings that were higher. So I think that would have made the whole city look so much different and probably more in keeping with what I wanted. And then we could have done like a, a tiny little area that was just the the new high tech, high rise building area. But then majority of the city would be kind of looking like this. All right, so another huge regret is the actual downtown layout. So at the time I was like, yeah, this is really cool. This is unique. It's got the curves. I thought that was gonna be so cool and just different and edgy. But I, th I actually think the downtown here, so this, area here. This is specifically the downtown area that has no building height limits. I feel like it is kind of a boring layout. Um, I wish I had done more of a wavy, wonky, crazy layout. So in comparison to, for example, if we look over here, so if we look over here, for example, so you can see, even though we do kind of have grids, it does still have some wavy roads. It's not um, parallel. It's just kind of all over the place, especially the old downtown area. So this area over here. So I really, really wish that I had done a more interesting, wavy, wonky downtown area because it would have gave us something really, really interesting to work with. Um, it would have made the whole city seem um, kind of older because, you know, some older cities don't really have a, you know, a grid style. Some of them do, a lot of them don't. Um, and I just think it would have looked so cool if it was just wavy, wonky and crazy. I can also say the same for this office area over here. So I didn't actually make a video about this area because I, it just got to the point where I had such a, such a huge demand for office buildings in my city and I just needed to do something quickly because I couldn't keep doing these other speed build videos without doing an office area. So I quickly did this area and I did these boring grids. And I just filled it in with the vanilla um, office buildings and it, it was just really, really boring. A lot of you guys called me out on it and like, Sam, what is that rubbish over there in the background? Get rid of that. So that's why some of those videos that I did were actually completely redoing the office area, trying to make it a little bit more friendly, a less, you know, vanilla, less generic and things like that. But I wish Again, like the downtown, I wish I had done a more wavy, wonky, crazy layout instead of just doing grids and straight roads and things like that, because that's boring. I like to keep it really wonky, crazy, and just, it makes it so much more interesting. So huge regret, the downtown area, this office area, I admit I got lazy. I wish I had done it differently, but hey, that's how it is, we're stuck with it. And um, let's move on. All right, you guys, the last thing that I regret. <laughs> At first, when I put these huge roads down, everyone was like, Sam, why? What are you doing? No, this is not good. They're too big. They're crazy. They just don't look right. But I was like, you know what? I'm trying to do like a Russian style city and a lot of Russian cities have these huge big boulevards with all of these lanes, like six lanes, seven lanes on either side. And that's what I wanted to do throughout this whole city. And as time went past, I was like, hang on a second. No one is actually using our roads. <laughs> so here we are, city is done. Um, and there's hardly anyone using these larger roads, unfortunately. And I think that comes down to, because I have so much public transport in my city, I also have so many pedestrian pathways everywhere. And I mean, I don't wanna seem like I'm bragging, but I, I, I did a pretty good job on the public transport because it, it reflects in how much traffic we have and there's really no traffic at all. So I do regret putting in these huge roads. I wish I had put in actually quite smaller roads because it um, would have made the city seem more, um, you know, tighter, closer together, all the buildings. These big roads, they do create big gaps in the city. And since there's no traffic on them, they seem a little bit out of place. But if these roads had a lot of traffic, I would love them. They would 
you know, fit in very, very well. But since there's no traffic, it does seem really weird and odd to put them in. So I definitely do regret putting in these huge, big boulevards. But as you guys are aware, I did try to downgrade a lot of those larger roads. So um, only a couple of these big boulevard roads still remain. So for example, this, this area right here um, was originally a huge big boulevard. So it went from this side here all the way to this side over here. So it completely downgraded that to only, um, well, I guess it has two lanes on either side and a tram up the middle. And as a result, there's really not much traffic in this area at all. So um, it also allowed for uh, space to build new shops and apartments, some green space as well. So I did try to get rid of those larger roads, um, but I mean, they still kind of live on in certain areas. So another example would be this one over here. So again, this larger road did continue straight on, but you can see I've downgraded that to, I believe it has, it has one lane on either side, the tram in the middle, and then it actually allowed us to put in a lot of parking lots. And um, we could, uh, we actually upgraded a lot of the areas, a lot of the buildings, made it more pedestrian friendly, and it looks so much better. It looks really, really cool. But like I said, some of those larger boulevards do still live on. Um, I thought, I thought I'd better not get rid of all of the boulevards because it kind of uh, shows like an older side of the city. So something from the past that kind of still lives on, but there just isn't really much of it. I don't know what the word is for that, but yeah, I didn't want to get rid of them all because it's just like a memory thing. So, but I definitely do regret those, but you know what? It was kind of fun upgrading those and completely redoing the areas, doing the roads and just making it really different. And all right, here we are in central Sami Vostok, which is something that you guys don't really get to see very often is a lot of these more inner areas. Um, but anyway, I thought this was a good place to end the video. There's definitely still other regrets that I have th for this city, but um, the ones that I mentioned today were all of the main big regrets that um, some of you have picked up throughout the whole time I built this city. So that's the end of this video. Next one is probably going to be the complete big city tour wrap up video. But if there is anything else you guys would like to see, quickly let me know because I'm just about to film um, the wrap up video. After that, Semivostok is completely done and we shall move on. Bye guys.